Hey guys, welcome back to the 4x2 Wagon Family Garage and today we are going to be doing a long-term review on our Smitty Built, the, the 5.6, is it 5.6 or 4.6 CFM? Anyways, this is their bigger compressor, uh, the portable compressors that they have. Um, so if you guys have been following this channel, I've had several types of air compressors for airing up when I'm done off-roading. Uh, I have had two CO2 tanks, uh, one other electrical um, pump, before this one and then this one right here and this thing has lasted me over four years so that in itself speaks volume for the quality and the reliability of this air compressor so there's really not much you know bad things i gotta say about this but i will bring up some couple things that i think they could have done better not only you know the smitty build but all the other air compressors on the market like this is built exactly the same so today i'm going to show you guys of how you guys can modify your air compressor like this for under ten dollars and make it really really cool all right so let's get started okay so the only downside i have about this air compressor is in the valve itself that um, that screws on to the valve stem so let me show you guys and what i was doing is i was actually uh, modifying this before i did this video and then I stopped and I said, you know what, I'm going to share this information with you guys because I think for under $10, you guys can make this air compressor or this type of air compressor way better because this is the biggest pain in the butt about this type of air compressor is this valve stem uh, attachment that goes on to your valve stem, okay? So what I ended up doing basically, this was here like this. What I ended up doing was basically cutting this hose and I put this quick connect on here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put all the links down below where you guys can get all these parts that we're gonna to use today to modify this hose. And uh, for under $10, I think you're gonna really appreciate this air compressor. Okay, let me turn my heat down here. Ooh, it's so hot. <clears throat> I got a propane heater running behind me. Okay, so the biggest downside of this whole air compressor is number one, is this valve thing, this valve stem. So um, as you all know, to make this thing work, you gotta screw it on. Here, let me grab a valve stem. Okay. So as you guys all know, to make this thing work, you gotta screw on this valve stem like this. And when you're wearing gloves and it's cold out, um, it just kind of becomes a pain in the butt, okay? But it's worked out really fine, no issues, but it is a pain in the butt. So I've dealt with it um, up until now. It's a new year, so we're gonna modify this compressor so that it's super awesome. So what I did was basically, I cut this thing off from this black hose and I put a quick connect on here. And I'm gonna leave all the parts I'm using here down in the description. You can even go down to Harbor Freight. They have everything. These are all really cheap. Uh, you can buy all of these parts. Uh, yeah, but if you go to Amazon, it's way cheaper. So, <clears throat> hold on a second, let me grab some wrenches. So after I had cut this original, uh, you know, this doohickey off of this hose, I put in a, one of these uh, quarter inch fitting, okay? So it's got a quarter inch, this is, this is all quarter inch fitting. Uh, what I did was basically I sprayed a little bit of silicone uh, WD-40 or whatever lubricant you have, some oil, and then you just push this right into the hose, and then that's what's left on the end is this male, male thread. And then once you have that put in, you can uh, buy these little uh, hose clamps, okay, like really small, and then just thread this on here like so. And make sure you guys put on some vinyl tape on here. So now you don't have to deal with that little twisty knob thing you can just quick connect this to the valve stem, right? So way better. Now let's take this to the next level. Now we all know that every one of these gauges that, that are, are on these air compressors is completely worthless because all this thing tells you is how much air is going in. Okay, so the next thing I wanna do to make this gauge um, usable is is I want to attach a, a device right here so that we can shut the air off okay because to make this gauge usable 
what I gotta do is, is, there, is, is that if I wanna see how, how much air is in the tire, I gotta turn this air compressor off, okay? When you do that, then this gauge is usable. Until then, it just reads whatever. So what I'm gonna do, and what you gotta do to make this thing usable, is you gotta come in and put a, uh, a valve in here to turn the air off, okay? That's, in, that's behind this gauge. So we're gonna have this valve right here, the gauge, and then our little uh, quick connect to the valve stem. So once we shut the air off here, it'll, it'll, it'll read exactly how much air is in this line. And what's in this line should give you a good indicator of how much PSI is, uh, how much pressure is on the line in your tire. Does that make sense? Okay. This is all the fittings that you guys are gonna need to do this project. Um, you're gonna need a side cutter, some vinyl, vinyl tape, um, some lubrication, a uh, wrench to tighten up and loosen these, um, the, these hose clamps. You're going to need one of these brass fittings right here that turns on and off, inline valve. Uh, one of these uh, couplers, these quick connect couplers. You're going to need three of these guys. These are all quarter wrench again. And then you need a quarter wrench uh, female to quick connect. Okay. And then when you put it all together, it's going to look something like this. And I think this will make sense to you guys. Oops. Okay. So once again, we're going to cut, cut this hose right here and we're going to install this right here, just like this. Right? So once you turn the valve, open, the air is going to flow, okay, but then when you want to read the, read the tire pressure, you're just going to turn this off, then this gauge will read accurately, or, or fairly close. So that's going to be the key. So let's go ahead and do that. So I'm going to um, put this, cut it somewhere, probably back here, okay. And the first thing we're going to need here are these. And then we're going to spray just a little bit of silicone in here. That's going to help to slide these valves in here nice and easy. Okay. Then the other side. There you go. Let me grab a towel here. Okay, and then you're going to use these hose clamps to come in here and clamp the hose on that little insert. And we'll do that for the other side. Now we may have to come back here and adjust these clamp directions. Uh, sometimes these little things get in the way, so, but we'll see. Okay. There you go. Okay, the next thing we're going to need is one of these. Okay, that's going to go here and here. Let me grab some uh, vinyl tape. And the key, key to put these, putting these things on is you want to go clockwise. Otherwise, when you put this on, when you, when you screw on the other end, uh, it's gonna, the tape's going to basically unwind itself. Okay, there you go, <clears throat> and we'll tighten that up a little bit more. This one already has a thread lock already on there, so we just got to put that on there, which is, makes it easy. Okay, and then we're going to put on our quick connect. Okay. 
Once again, you guys, I'll leave all the part numbers down below. And everything you see here is for a is a quarter inch MPT. Okay, so basically it looks like this when it's all finished. So you guys see how see how quick that was? It's very simple. Now I'm gonna come in and I'm gonna go ahead and tighten up all these all the fittings here. But I just want to show you quickly uh, how this how this thing will look. Okay, and then once we get once we finish this up, we'll go and test this uh, on our spare tires sitting on the floor. Okay, so basically at this point we have created a two separate piece on our line that goes out to the to the valve stem okay and what's nice about this too is that if you don't want to use this if you got some other um, air tool device you can use the quick connect for that and then this end will go to the other side of your uh, existing air hose okay so it looks something like this what do you say we give this a try so our goal here is to inflate this to about 40 pounds of pressure. So you want to make sure the valve is open. Right now it's closed, so it's open. Now I'm going to turn on the car. So every time I want to see how much air is in here, now all I gotta do is turn the valve off. Okay, so that right there says just over about 41 pounds of air. Okay, there you go. Now let's pull this valve off, this quick connect, and we'll check it with our air gauge. And we are at about 39 according to this, and this one said about 41. So we're very close. Well, I'm glad this demo all worked out because I didn't test any of this before the video, but I knew it was going to work out. So I hope you guys uh, found this demo and this little hack and little re-engineering of your existing air hose uh, has brought some value. Uh, I know it did for me. This is going to be a huge convenience factor next time I go and air up off the trail. Uh, so let's go over some of the few things again, um, some of the benefits. So we removed the existing quick dial disconnect or connector doohickey with a nice brass uh, quick connect up here and then now now that we've installed this uh, this airline shutoff valve uh, this dial becomes actually usable because before then it was only measuring how much air was going into the tire but now but it didn't measure what was in the tire unless you shut off the air compressor which then becomes a pain that but because you got to go back and forth to turn it on and off basically to, uh, to read the tire pressure, right? So now you can simply, as you're airing up, you can turn the air off right here with the flick of your thumb, and you can see how much air is in here, and then turn it back on. So hope this video and this hack was helpful. I'd love to hear all your guys' um, hacks or suggestions or comments, whatever you guys wanna leave us and share with us for the rest of the world. That'd be greatly, that would be greatly appreciated. And um, until then, oh, so in the next video, I think maybe next weekend, I'm going to post a video on this little thing that I bought uh, where you can just turn the dial to a certain air pressure. And then once it reaches that pressure, the whole thing will shut off for you guys automatically. So I can't wait to share that with you. That's a really cool deal because there's nothing worse than 
sitting here and babysitting how much air is in your tire. So this auto dial that I bought, it'll do all for you. So that's coming up. So make sure you guys uh, click on the you know, link down below the bell to get notified of that video next weekend. So until then, we want you guys to be safe out there in the COVID world. Uh, be kind, courteous out there in this crazy environment. We love all of you guys. We want to thank you all for, our, for your, uh, your support. And we'll see you guys in the next video. And God bless.